So let's proceed right now to the next type of a looping st statement in repetition control structure in PHP. Hopefully, um, you are able to understand um, the while statement because if ever that you already understood um, the process or um, the algorithm itself in the do while loop, um, it would be easy for you. Okay? So for do while loop, um, it executes a statement or statements once, then repeats the execution as long as the given condition, um, if uh, as long as a given conditional expression evaluates to true, meaning it will execute first before it will um, undergo, oh, before it will execute um, the conditional expression. If you will check here in our um, um, in our flowchart, it will execute first. Um, um, it will execute first um, the statement or the expression before it will go ahead and proceed with the conditional statement. So once it's true, again, it will still loop. Once it will be false, it will go out to the loop and it will terminate to the pro it will terminate the program, but it really depends. Okay, so this is the syntax in the do statement or the do while statement. So the do here, it should be here, then open curly brace, then closing curly brace. You can put your um, statement or any kind of expression here. And also, don't forget to put the while in which you will insert your condition here. And also, don't forget to put the semicolon. Okay, again, um, if we will compare while to do while, um, while execute first the condition before it will execute the statements or the expression. In do while, it will execute the statement or the expression before it will undergo, um, before it will go directly to the conditional expression. Okay, so let's go directly to the example. If you can see it here in my example, if you will check the output, um, it started um, with um, number two. So this is our counter going to number four. Okay, so if we will check here, of course, it should start with um, page P. Then variable count, it should be equivalent to, we need to initialize the value to, to our counter or to our variable count. Then the do, it will um, display first the count it's equal to, of course, two. Then count plus plus, or it will increment the variable count. Then after that, after executing or displaying um, the echo, this time um, it will undergo um, the expression or the conditional expression. So two, is it less than five? Of course, it's less than, so it's true. So the two will be added plus one. Uh, the two, uh, the count will be added one so that the two here, it will become three. Then after that, it will become four. So four, is it less than five? Yes, of course, so they would still execute. So after executing it, five, is it less than five? It's false. So basically it will not print, it will definitely go out and terminate the program, just like this. Okay, so let's proceed in our activity number four. So in our activity number four, it's the same with our activity number one. However, we need to uh, we need to use a while statement. Uh, sorry, a do while statement. So let me go ahead and pull up my Visual Studio Code. Of course. Uh huh. Um, I need to. Uh huh. I'll put here activity four br then enter a value. So input type here, of course, it should be text. 
then the name let's make it num4 then after that input type again here this is for our submit button then the value of course it should be submit oh sorry i forgot to put the double quotation after that one we need to create our variable name for the button it should be button for there we go uh -huh. i'll go ahead and create the br ahead and here since i'm done with the button one button two button three this time i'll go ahead and create my um i'll create my button um four but for e set i need to get uh, sorry it we need to post the button four and after that if the user click the button for that's the time that we need to check if the uh, what do you call this if the num4 which is the text box here contains a value okay so here we need to put here post then num4 there we go so again we can um, basically copy this one for the else mm -hmm. there okay there you go so first thing that i need to do here um, of course i need to initialize uh, one moment uh, we need to initialize yeah because it started with counter one so i need to initialize um what did i use here uh, value three so count so uh, count count two count two one of course i need to get the one moment um value four equals post num four there after that this is the time where i will put my do so in my do i need to put um echo now the value of sorry int a no it's not int a yeah i still i should i should use int a for example huh no it should be value four i'm sorry for this one guys i'll be changing that one to value four is value four mm -hmm. i need to put br okay there after that i need to do the plus plus because basically it should increment right okay after that in the while here i need to put the condition it should be um the value no no no, no sorry it should be the count to should be less than the value for and don't forget to put the semicolon okay let's see but before anything else i also need to put this one so that right i need to put br here there let's see let's see let's see local host so this is the activity number four when i click submit of course this is correct already so i need to input um 15 so 15 
Oh, what happened to this one? Hmm, this is infinite. One moment. Let me double check my code. So basically, this should be. Oh, that's why. Because here, this should be the count too. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Why did they put the value there? Okay, count two. Count two, count two, count two. Or instead, I'll be using, since I'm using int A here, I'll be using int B here. Int B, int B, int B, int B. Then I need two there. There we go. Save it. Let me go back. Then I'll put 15, click submit, there we go, it's working, there, it's working, this is perfect, oh yeah, this is perfectly fine, however, even though that already put PR, it seems that it doesn't look the same, right, it should have two PRs, there, there we go here one moment how about if I'll put a here let's see <laughs> there Ooh, okay so that's four hour activity number I'll let, me let me repeat this is four hour activity number four so I think we are ready with our activity number five. So for our activity number five, um, we need to create again a PHP script that looks the same, um, that looks the same as the figure here. So our counter, it started with zero, it should end with number nine. So look, um, stop at I10. So I need to use a variable i. Okay. So for this one, uh, I'm thinking. Wait. Wait. I'll just copy this one. Then I'll be changing this one to 5. Then button 5. Then after that, here, of course, still the same process. Just like what we did, need to do as set for the um, button five. There. So if not empty, I need to check if the uh -huh, num five there if the num5 contains a value or not so if it contains a value it will do the looping or it will do the do while loop if none it should say something like this okay so let's start I need to double check first this is 0 going to 9 so I need to first things first I need to create variable i should be zero then variable uh, I, i've been using value four so i'll be using value five here so value five should contain the one moment the num five okay here so i need to do create the do here it should echo okay all I need to do is just to echo D yeah I need to echo the I then ER then after that I need to do the uh, I plus plus sorry after doing the I plus plus this is the time where I will do uh, I will create D 
um, conditional um, conditional statement. So for this one, it should be the I should be lesser than yeah, it should be lesser than the value five. There. So and lastly, it should say um, loop stop at I. Okay. So echo looped stop at sorry i equals of course i need to call the value i and lastly i need to put this one uh -huh. I'll be putting that one here. Here we go. Okay, cool. So let me try. Hopefully, I will not experience an infinite loop again. One moment. Let me run this code. Localhost 5. So I'll click submit. Of course, this is correct already. For this one, I should be entering. Okay, 10. 0 to 9. Oh, this is correct. Yay. Okay, so basically, um, the one that I created um, is correct. So again, based on the, um, based on my codes, I, um, the expression or the statement inside the do executed first before it will proceed to the while that contains the conditional expression or the conditional statement okay